Good morning, good morning, beautiful people. It's Winning Wednesday, and that means you are winning in Jesus Christ. You already have the victory, so stop walking around, moping, looking sad with your head held down, acting like you're a loser because you are not. You are definitely winning because of Jesus Christ and what he did for you. Believe that, receive that today winner you are a winner winner all right today i want to talk about vulnerability vulnerability being humble showing humility and the scripture reference is coming from james 4 and 6. the question today is what can you do today to humble yourself for the sake of a restored relationship so james 4 and 6 says he gives us more grace that is why scripture says, God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. Hmm, that's an interesting scripture. He gives favor, favor to the humble, but he opposes the proud. How many of you are so proud that you hate apologizing or you hate um, admitting when you're wrong in a situation or in a relationship? Well, this story says some of the most substantial and ultimately wonderful changes in our lives come from moments of vulnerability, laying our cards all on the table, so to speak, and letting someone else know how much they really mean to us. But vulnerability takes one key ingredient, humility. And humility is not easy, is not an easy pill to swallow. Isn't it sometimes easier for us to pretend that conflict never happened than to face the fact that we made a mistake or that we may have wronged another person? It's not always easy to humble ourselves and fight for the resolution in an argument, especially when it means admitting our failures. Who are you in the face of conflict? Think about that today. Think about all the conflicts that you may have had this week. And who were you in the face of those conflicts? Do you avoid apologizing in an attempt to face, to save face, to save your own face, to save your own hide? Do you avoid the conflict? Does your pride get in the way of vulnerability? Or are you willing and ready to humble yourself for restoration in your relationship? God says that he will give you favor and wisdom to the humble. Think about that today. Don't be so proud that when you wrong another person and you know deep down in your spirit that you have wronged them or you did something wrong or you made a mistake, don't be so prideful that you ignore that conflict, you ignore that situation to save your own face, to save your own self. But humble yourself and go to that person or go to that situation, face that situation and admit the wrong. That's what I try to get my children to, to, to face, to realize in class. When you do something wrong, admit that you're wrong, especially when you have been seen doing the wrong. Just admit that you're wrong. I would rather you admit to me, especially when I see you do something wrong and I get on to you and you lie in my face. I want you to t admit to me that you did it. Own up to what you did. That's gonna save you from getting in trouble with me. But when you lie, you just immediately tell a lie and you know you did wrong and then you're caught in that lie, then that's a whole nother story. So I'm trying to teach them while they're young to face conflict, face when they do wrong, face when they wrong another person. And it'll be so much better when they're older. And that goes for you too as adults. Admit when you're wrong, humble yourself. Don't be so prideful to think that you cannot admit when you're wrong and you know you're wrong. So try that today. If you wrong another person or you have wronged another person, face the conflict, face the issue, face the situation, and it'll make that relationship so much better. And it'll make God even more proud of you. All right, beautiful people, think about that today on this wonderful Winning Wednesday because you are definitely winning. Remember that. Be blessed, be a blessing, be the best you, do something to grow yourself. Remember, every day is not going to be perfect, but it can be positive on purpose. So be intentional about finding the positive in your every new day. Hey, I love you. God loves you even more. I want you to have a purposefully positive winning Wednesday and keep going because you've got this.